Are you working on a show where an actor needs to eat a piece of cake, but you don't want to put a real cake on stage? Well, by the end of this video, you will know a sneaky hack in how to put a real piece of cake inside a fake cake. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and I am that props girl. I'm currently working on a production of Priscilla Queen of the Desert the Musical and it is just a fabulous fun time. But we have a scene where we have got some actors that need to eat some cake on stage and they don't want to have a real cake because it's got to be used as a prop later on and it gets moved around and real cake is going to go everywhere. So my suggestion was to actually cut a piece out of a piece of fake cake and insert in a piece of real cake. Now if you've watched my channel for a while you will know that I love making fake foods and fake cakes so this was right up my alley but I've never made one of these before and I've always wanted to so I am so excited for today's video. So if you are keen to see that and all of the fun we have today just stick around until the end because it is going to look and taste amazing. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and the bell next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of my future uploads and with all that said and done let's jump straight into the video. It's a note from post uh, where I'm editing the video and I just want to apologize in advance. I don't know what is going on with the lighting. Uh, yep, it was a time. Please look past the lighting because I promise the content is good. Please ignore that racket, it is my cat. And let's continue on with the video. All right, so I have a dummy cake round here. Now this one is 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters. Uh, and it's this small because I need it to fit inside a picnic basket. And what I've done is I've got a piece of paper and I've traced uh, the outline of it. And then I've folded it into first quarters. And then I thought that the quarter was a bit big. So then I went in again and I'm gonna try and make our slice this little size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out one of these little triangles and I'm going to trace the outline on here and then I'm going to use a very sharp kitchen knife to cut that down. Now you can also use a hot wire if you have that or another cutting implement. I'm just going to use a kitchen knife uh, which is quite uh, sizable and uh, as always be careful around knives do not cut yourself and let's get started okay so I'm pretty sure that none of it was in focus when I did it so I do apologize but basically we've got this which I removed from the cake and I just got the little triangle placed on the sides and then drew around it and then down the sides as a guideline and then uh, chopped down and around it. Now, as always, styrofoam goes everywhere. There's not really much we can do about that, but um, it doesn't really matter because we're going to ice it and paint it anyway. Um, but yeah, so that is out now and I'm going to tidy up this mess and then we're going to go in and paint it. Now that this is cut out and looks a lot like Pac-Man, I'm going to mix in a little tiny bit of this yellow acrylic paint into this white and I'm going to paint just the inside here. And I'd want to do that just to give it like a sponge cake kind of color. This is done now and it now looks like a piece of canvas. And if you've never painted loose styrofoam, which is what is in here, that's when the little balls come off, just like one that just fell there. It's actually not the easiest thing in the world to do. So it does come off sometimes and that's okay. I just continue to paint over it. It's not gonna be the same when we paint the outside. So I'm gonna let that dry quickly and because it's acrylic paint, it probably won't take that long to dry. And then we're gonna go in and paint the undercoat for the top. I'm going to give you a second to guess what color the cake is. And also while you're thinking, if you are enjoying this video, be sure to hit the like button as well as the subscribe button and the bell next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all my future uploads. Did you guess correctly? Well, if you saw the thumbnail, you probably did. We are painting this cake green because in the show Priscilla, they had these green cupcakes and it's this whole thing about leaving your cake out in the rain. Anyways, the cake's meant to be green or at least we're going with a green cake. So I'm doing this base coat in green and I've said this in multiple other cake videos. I like to paint the underside of the foam just in case it chips. So if the icing goes away, uh, you've still got a, a green layer here. And of course you could take a chunk out of the styrofoam and then 
you're still going to see white, but this is at least a layer of green. So I'm going to go in and paint this now. Now that this cake is dry and as green as the Grinch himself, we're going to mix my favorite wall filler in with a little bit of white acrylic paint, first of all, just to break up the wall filler a little bit. And then I'm going to mix in the green acrylic paint. And you can see that I got that in Hot Bargain for $2.50 uh, to make the icing. And we're going to use a clay tool, as I often do, to spread that over the edges. Now I'm going to do these little bits here last uh, in the hopes that I don't get too much in there. I actually had a green cake for my 10th birthday. Did anyone else have a colorful birthday cake? That is such a gorgeous color and it's going to look great on here. Now, one of the really great things that I have learned about icing is when you mix in the white acrylic paint first and the Semco one is quite liquidy, um, it just makes the fake icing a lot more spreadable and it makes it really easy to just go onto the cake. It moves so well because I find without it, it is very, very thick and sometimes it can be a bit difficult to spread. I love it. It looks Awesome. Now I'm going to take these little fake sprinkles <laughs> and just pop that into the edge there, but that's okay. I'm going to take these little fake sprinkles that I made out of loom bands. And if you wanted to see a tutorial on that, I went through it in my fake uh, soft serve ice cream video. So if you want to check that out after this one, you can. But I'm just going to take these, oh, I'm going to put them down here. I'm going to take these sprinkles. And I'm just going to pop them on here whilst it's still wet so it'll grip it a bit together and then I'm going to let it dry and I'm just going to press them in a little bit like that and then I'm going to let it dry and then when that's done I'm going to cover it up in some Mod Podge. Don't go anywhere because you don't want to miss the finished product. Now I'm not normally one for packeted mixes and I really wanted to just buy a sponge cake from the shop but I couldn't find one so I'm going to make one out of a packet mix today. But I actually really do like baking so it's fun that I actually get to make a real cake for once. There we are, one real cake, one fake cake. So the plan is to cut this one probably two, maybe three slices and pop them on top of each other to build up in there. Then I'm gonna go in with some pre-made icing and mix in the green food coloring and hopefully, fingers crossed, it matches. And now the reason why mod podging the interior is so important is so that we don't actually get bits of cake stuck to the inside because it'll just rot and it might attract ants because after the show we need to be able to wipe out in here so it's fresh for each one. So now we're going to take our buttercream icing and mix in some food colouring to try and match this green. So this is looking pretty good currently and I'm going to fill in all the gaps with the icing and then go in with some sprinkles. Alright, so this is about as close as we're going to get and they are closer in colour than they appear on camera, I can promise you that. So now let's put this to the test. Now 
Now I know it's not perfect and I know you can still see that gap and the horrible icing around the sides. I'm gonna clean that up. But once we put sprinkles on, it will be less obvious. And from a distance, it's gonna be even less obvious. Can confirm, it tastes good and the theory works. Well, that is it for this video and it turned out so well. It tastes amazing. And I'm not usually one to make packeted cakes, but in this instance, it works just fine. And that pre-made icing is gonna be my best friend when I'm backstage doing this for every single show. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys wanna see more behind the scenes stuff and know a little bit more about doing props for theater, then be sure to check out my next video because I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a chit chat in and around the role of doing props and how to source things and how to get stuff when you're first starting out and if you're new to doing props for a show you don't want to miss that video I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and you learned something be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button and the bell next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of my future uploads and for all of my creators out there just a reminder that you are more capable than you know I'll see you guys next time bye